with another live video. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and follow up. Uh, hey, Grom. Hey, uh, Ethan. How you doing? Uh, I wanted to go ahead and follow up. Christine and Peter had a live. Slicey had a live. I think Justin and Molly had a live. So why not us do a live as well? So I'm actually sitting here in a hotel uh, because... Hey, Grom. How are, how are you doing? Uh yeah, I'm actually sitting in a, here in a hotel. Uh, my family's at home. So I actually happen to be sick. Uh, I think the Texas freeze made me sick. I got COVID tested. I'm negative. Uh, but I, <laughs> I am sitting in a hotel. So it's just, you know, added an abundance of caution uh, to make sure that my family's okay. Uh, hey, Monster, how are you doing? Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and do a live. We're going to do the drawing for the um, Westmade wallet. Uh, and we'll go from there. Hey, uh, 714 Milky, how are you? So yeah, we're going to be, be doing the drawing for that in a little bit. You see the bug out? Yep. So this is the 535-3. First production, S90V. So this is really, really a fantastic knife. And you know what? I, while I'm in this video, if you guys remind me a little later, I'm going to show you guys this against the 940 because a lot of people want to no, you know, how does this really compare to the 940-1? All right, so let me go ahead and do the drawing uh, real quick because I think people are really going to tune in for that and then uh, and then go away. So I'm going to do the drawing first, and then uh, if you guys stick around till the end, I might do another giveaway. So uh, the drawing for the – here, let me go ahead and take it off the stand here. We're going to go ahead and look at, uh, <laughs> at this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and – open up a YouTube comment picker. Let's see, here we go. Hey David, how are you? So we're gonna be doing the drawing here for that Westmade wallet video. Uh, so here's a YouTube comment picker. And we're gonna start off by doing this. So we're gonna copy and paste this, copy, paste, and then we're going to filter duplicate users, and uh, include, all right, the, the, the big um, requirement for this one was uh, you guys had to just go to the website and put in done, uh, that you went to the website, so we're going to be looking for the word done. Let's go ahead and, whoops, oh, we forgot to get the YouTube comments, so get the number of comments here. There were 68 unique comments, and let's go ahead and find out who won. Mad Hatter, done, Minimalist Life for the Win, and In Like Flynn. So uh, Mad Hatter, you won that uh, the, the wallet here, this wallet, the Westmade wallet, but you won the black version. That's the green one's mine. So, uh, all right, we started out with that giveaway drawing. Now we're going to get into the knives. Hey, for Baron, how are you? All right, so I wasn't watching the comments uh, just now because I was busy um, drawing the names, but I'll try to see if I can go through back through some of the comments real quick. And yes, congrats to Mad Hatter. Okay. All right, I think I've got, whoop. Trying to get this set up, guys, sorry. Trying to run the live tr live chat on my computer screen. Okay, hey, hey, JB, how are we doing? All right, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at these knives. These are actually lent to the channel by uh, Mark Goldstein. Um, so uh, thank you, Mark Goldstein, for letting me use the channel. I'm going to uh, have a sort of a, a discussion on special editions or limited editions, uh, sprint runs of knives, uh, exclusives. This is a DLT exclusive. Uh, same, and this is a Blade HQ exclusive. But I'm also going to be doing a, a discussion of a, the Tonto version of PM2 versus regular. So, you know, that you have that to look forward to coming up. All right. So a lot of people are watching. I, we, I got a lot of views on the video of the 535 uh, dash three bug out. So most, I think most everyone was pretty, uh, pretty receptive to the fact that uh, I was justifying the price on this thing. Cause it was, 
it is a pretty substantial price. Um, <laughs> you bug out. <laughs> uh, it is a pretty substantial price. Uh, but you, you know, when you take into account, you know, what the 940-1 goes for and everything else, uh, and, and what all the aftermarket parts go for, I actually think it's a pretty good deal. Um, bust that like button open. Which one? Dub Glock. I don't, I don't know which uh, button you're referring to. Whoop, got a little bit of lock stick there. So that's that one. Let's go and break out my carries for the day here. Had an um, Unum Zon and a uh, Protec Malibu. Guys, go ahead and tell me, list, list down below, what, what's everyone carrying today? <laughs> Thank you, Monster Racing. Appreciate it if everyone hits the like button. So is the uh, is the bug out contoured? So here, you can see here that it's chamfered on the side. So it's not fully contoured. Um, it has a very, it's not flat. It's like very, so slightly contoured. It's like you can feel a little bit of, of contouring, but it's mostly flat. All right, so let's see what everyone's carrying. We've got uh, Manix 2 Lightweight S110V, very good. CGRB Gobi, Copper RKO. Uh, we've got Sebenza with wood inlays, very nice. Let's go uh, break out my Sebenza with wood inlays in honor of that one. Um, We've got uh, Kubi Vagrant, Hogue Deca Warncliffe, Delica K390. Ooh, K390. Uh, yeah, Mad Hatter, I forgot to uh, uh, mention. Mad Hatter, if you see this, you got to contact me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com to claim your prize. Uh, I will go ahead and, because I'm doing this on a live, it's not the normal way that I do things. Uh, I will go ahead and post another video before I move on to another person, uh, just because it's not the normal way people find things. Uh, you got the Latvin Mini. I, I'm thinking of trying to check out the Latvin, the full size. Uh, that, that stripe, though, is going to drive me nuts. Um, Freeman 451 is great. Um, I'm missing mine a little bit. Uh, I actually uh, um, sold it. Uh, Kaiser Justice, very nice. Titanium Bug Out. I've got a titanium bug out here. May as well put that in the mix. So let's see, titanium bug out, Hogue Deca Warncliffe and PM2 Tonto. Yep, we just saw that Tonto here. And uh, QSP Penguin with the Blue Jean Micarta and the Victorinox Tinker. Um, nice Sebenza, yes, that is MacArthur Ebony, you're right. Crystal Oil, you're right. Uh, 30V or M4. If you're asking about this this one, this one's M4. Um, Benchmade Griptilian for B for Baron. Very, very good. So, yeah, these were my uh, my. I'm sorry. This one was my uh, was my carry today, along with the Umnums on. Uh, and I gotta tell you guys, I mean, I've carried a bunch of CRKs. This Umnums on has really like. I've always carried CRKs on and off, but I'm having a hard time kicking this one out of my pocket. It, I really, really find it to be, you know, the my favorite one to carry. Uh, I'll be doing a, a follow-up video on this at, at a later date, but uh, I'm really impressed with the Unum's on so far. Uh, hey, Larry, how are you doing? Yeah, the Malibu. So um, I'm thinking of doing what Nick Shabazz did to his. This is the same one Nick Shabazz had, uh, except he has the reverse Tonto version. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking of uh, of doing what he did, which is uh, de-anodize it uh, so that it's all gray. What do you guys think of that? Do you guys like his version better? Or you guys like this version better? Just curious. Um, in any event, uh, these are the two bug outs I have here. I got some questions, I think, in, in a comment, uh, which one do I prefer out of the, uh, the titanium or the carbon fiber? So I still like metal knives better. Um, the, uh, so I still, I still like titanium a little bit better in the handles just because that's, that's my thing. But this is really quality, and honestly, this is probably going to stay in the collection. I don't usually double up on knives, but these offer different things. You know, this one maintains the lightness of the bug out, 
uh, this one doesn't really maintain that. So, uh, you know, I think I'm going to keep both, honestly. So this, this is, uh, but if, if you had to ask me which one I'd go for, I'd go for this one. But with the titanium scales and everything else, you're probably going to spend, you know, backspacer, titanium, uh, titanium screws, critter scales. It's, it's going to be more expensive. Ethan Rowan's EDC, cover your eyes. Uh, yeah, so uh, does he not like the bug out? I don't know. Ethan, did you, did you do a video not liking the bug out? If, if you did, I'll, I'm, I definitely got to check it out. All right, let me go ahead and put something else up. Uh, some recent acquisitions. I've got this uh, ADV Alpha. Death for the bug out. <laughs> Vinnie Mac is warming to the bug out while Ethan doesn't like the bug out. Um, the blue on the Malibu, uh, you like it makes more neat, more unique. Awesome. So uh, this is the, uh, the alpha. That's a, that's a new one. I got, I don't know if you guys have seen this one yet. The um, Spartan blades, Kranos. And this is a really cool one that, uh, really has no business. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. This is the um, uh, PDW uh, Prometheus Design Works. Uh, it's like a mini ballast song. Um, it's got a clip on here. Uh, it is a little bit like the Invictus, so it's hard to do under under the camera. But it's got the Teravantium. Uh, it's got the Teravantium blade. <laughs> so very interesting. Um, very interesting. <laughs> Ethan absolutely hates the bug outs. All right, sorry, Ethan. Uh, but this is this is really interesting. I don't really, um, it, you know, it, you can flip this. It's like a mini, little tiny Invictus. Look how small this thing is. Um, and it uh, it does it does lock. It just locks through the back side instead of the front side. So little cool knife over here. I don't think I'll be hanging on to this, but it's, it was very cool to check out. Um, you know, I, uh, uh, I just saw it and I had to have it, <laughs> but it's really, it's really kind of, uh, it, it's a weird one. Uh, but it's, it's, you know, got that cobalt, dendritic cobalt that's on the, um, PDW Invictus. So it's very cool. Dillip, uh, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. The, uh, the inlay on the alpha. Yeah. So. This is really cool. This is uh, carbon fiber. Um, this is bronzed uh, anodized titanium. It's really got these, you know, very smooth, polished sort of bronze uh, styling on the scales. Nice milled pocket clip here. Uh, and this is a button lock. So uh, it is very, it's on bearings. It is very, very, uh, with, especially with the, with the weight of the blade, very fidgety. In fact, um, if you ask me, which is a better fidget toy, the Malibu or the Alpha? I would say the Alpha. And if you ask me out of the Alpha, the Freeman 451 and the Malibu, I'm going to tell you still the Alpha. So uh, really cool blade this thing is, but it is big. Uh, and it is an absolute uh, guillotine. Yes, it is an ADV. This is an ADV Alpha. Uh, it's got this acid, uh, acid etch finish with, these, with this uh, sort of satin finish as well. You can see the ADV there on the blade. Crosses the line between artwork and knife. Yeah, I mean, it, it does work as a functional knife. I've used it to cut boxes. Actually, this recurve right here is really good to cut boxes. But this sharpening choil, if you use the recurve, will catch the boxes. So, you know, it's a very large sharpening choil. So I've ended up pulling it across here uh, when, I do, when I do boxes. But it's very cool. Very, very fidgety. And I really like the Freeman 451 as well. I mean, I have a review on it. You guys can see uh, can see the review. By the way, the uh, this right here, the spidey hole, I guarantee you the reason it looks like this is because they wanted to avoid the, the trademark infringement that Spyderco has. And I think this is genius. I think this, you know, milling out of the spidey hole in order to make it not a spidey hole is absolute and utter genius. <laughs> so... Uh, that's just me. 
I'm, I'm, I'm a lawyer. It's sort of a, a, me being a legal nerd, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm not a patent lawyer, or trademark lawyer, so don't take that as the law. All right, let's see what's next. Uh, another one that I've sort of had that's newish. I don't know if you guys have seen yet. Is the Microtech Cipher. So I've got the Microtech Cipher there. This Kranos, by the way, uh, this is sort of an interesting knife. I honestly, when I first got it, I didn't like it. Um, it was. It had a few things wrong with it. I think it's been sitting around for a while on the shelf because this is a design from a couple of years ago. Uh, and it, it had a couple of things wrong with it. I fixed that those things. And now it's one of my, you know, it, one of my favorite knives that just I'm always just grabbing every time I run out the door. So uh, very cool. Let's see. It says, uh, oh, a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, it, I am a lawyer. It is what it is. Um, maybe I can unscrew bolts and nuts with it. Which one? Cue the lawyer jokes. Yeah, there's plenty of uh, bad lawyer jokes. Yeah, so the Kranos, by the way, is is a design. It was it was their first flipper design. Uh, and I know, well, I know the Harsey folder isn't really a flipper, but um, this is a uh, uh, this is a flipper design. And this was I think it was like a 2017. Um, uh, a 2017 blade show winner or something for innovative design. So it's very cool. It has this, uh, you know, sort of interior frame lock um, that this carbon fiber goes over. So it, you know, acts as an over travel stop and it's sort of built in. Um, and, it, but really the cool thing of, of this is this is actually a Spartan helmet. If you look at this, this way, it's designed into the knife. Very cool. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. So I'm going to show you why I've been broke lately, okay? Uh, <laughs> other than this ridiculous little knife. So I won the lottery for uh, this knife, the collaboration, Shiro, Shiro RJ Martin collaboration. And... At the same time that I won the lotto for this knife, I also bought this knife, the Shiro 110 Kickstop. And that was only, I had to have this 110 Kickstop because they never become available. But that was literally like two days after I bought this 111. So uh, <laughs> I bought the 111 just wanting to get a larger Shiro. This one became available, and I literally just had to have it because they never become available. And then I won the lottery for this, and so I I literally spent like four thousand dollars in a week. So it's <laughs> this was uh, this was crazy, um, but uh, this was uh, yeah three shiros in a week. Not just three shiros, three shiros at or above the one thousand dollar mark. This one I actually got for a little bit less than a thousand, but yeah, that's. Uh, that happened to me in, in about a week, and uh, it's sort of put my uh, knife buying on the sideline a little bit. But these are all really cool knives. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if you, if you guys are interested, I'll go through them a little bit. Let me know if you guys are interested in, in seeing these, because uh, they're not really knives that everyone can grab, mainly because there were only 200 of these made. There were only like 200 of these made. Uh, and this one is like a special edition that there's only been a few of them. Okay, so, um, yeah, I do need another sale, actually. I counted up. I have, like, 100 knives right now. Uh, so I, I do need to do another sale. If you guys want me to post a sale video, uh, I'm happy to do it. Um, but it'll be uh, – it'll probably be more knives in the $100, $200 range. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about some of these. So uh, just so you guys know real quick, this is a multi-row bearing. This is a uh, – roller bearing and this is a single row roller bearing so two single row ro roller bearings and one um uh one multi-row uh, ball bearing so in case you guys were curious the multi-row ball bearing is actually the most drop shutty of the bunch so as you can see it, it literally just drops shut immediately this is an outdoor edition which means it has no clip because it's kind of like a buck in the way that it comes in a leather sheath now, the leather sheath is a very, very good sheath. 
It is uh, for cross draw on the belt. And I did not know how I would like a, uh, a 111 without a clip at first, but I've really grown to like this thing and I can carry it on my belt pretty easily. And uh, the action on this is just superb. I didn't know if I'd like G10, uh, but if you look closely, the G10 is so finely milled, it's beautiful, and it, you really can't tell the difference between this and carbon fiber for the most part. So this is really cool. Um, hey, it's, uh, <laughs> it's knees and eyes. What's going on? I should do a collection video. So I, I actually am thinking of doing a collection video. I'm debating whether I should break it down into fixed knives uh, and, um, uh, and folders, but you guys let me know if you guys want to see the whole collection or fixed knives and folders. If it's the whole collection, it's going to be about an hour long. So, uh, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely something I can do. What's really cool about, I'm going to put this one away for a second. What's really cool about the RJ Martin knife is just the design on this. So if you look closely, you have that micro milling here, right? And then you have the, the flats here. Nice backspacer, it, anodizing on the backspacer and on the, and on the clip. Just the details on this are great. What is really cool is this is not actually a, uh, most heroes, you can use the pivot to, um, to open it up. This one you can't open up with the pivot. This one is just decorative, plainly decorative. It's the back that you can use to open it up, the back pivot. Uh, so it's also much larger than the normal pivots. Uh, Yes, yeah, so this is the uh, the Russian overkill. That's correct. Um, it does have a lot of the CD features. CD uh, features mean CD meaning uh, the um, uh, custom division. Neves, thank you so much. Oh, awesome! Thank you, thank you. Yes, super chat is open, guys. Uh, I would definitely um, definitely appreciate any support you guys can give the channel. Uh, I am going to be doing a bunch more giveaways coming up, so um, you know I got to pay for. Uh, uh, not just the giveaways, but for postage. Um, anyway, the uh, the details on this are really cool. This has a nice uh, normal Shiro grind, uh, but it has like a saber grind as, as well at the top. Um, and it's just a really cool, cool knife. The roller bearings feel, they're not quite drop shut, but they're very smooth, right? Uh, very, very smooth. Yeah, $39.95 short. I'm not looking to pay for these knives with, with the Super Chat. Uh, th this was, you know, I had to pay for that. Um, but, uh, but I do a lot of giveaways and, you know, this does help fund the giveaways. Um, in any event, uh, you know, this is, this is a really cool knife. Uh, but this is really, this is my favorite Shiro right now. This, uh, this 110 kickstop. So what makes this knife really cool? Well, first of all, the, uh, it's got to get past the detent, but the, the action on it is superb. Once I get past that detent, you can see the, uh, but this, this flipper tab it has that Lee Williams um, mechanism. Whoops, hitting the camera, mainly because this is a huge knife. Um, it has this Lee Williams mechanism. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it in here. Oh, JB, thank you. See how this is a separate piece from the, from the tang of the blade? So that, that's essentially the Lee Williams mechanism. This is a collaboration piece with Lee Williams. And so that, you know, that you're going to see... Lee Williams right there. That's his invention. So um, this is the uh, the Russian, essentially, version of the kickstop, which is really cool. Just the blade shape on this is awesome. The handle feels great. Uh, you get a lot of sort of custom division features of this one as well, uh, which I really appreciate. Um, it's, it's just beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, this is probably my favorite knife in my collection right now which is a spoiler for when I do <laughs> the, uh, a ranking video. But this is probably my favorite knife in my collection. It is definitely not one of the cheaper ones. Um, but I, uh, I, again, I appreciate you guys. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got uh, recently. So this is another one I got recently. The This is not on the uh, lower end. No, I shouldn't say lower end. On the... Um, under $200, uh, I can't remember if this was 80 bucks or 110 bucks or something. Uh, but this was, uh, this is Finch Knives, Finch Cimarron. 
And this is a really cool knife. Uh, the I don't know if you guys know, I don't have my flashlight with me here, but the uh, this actually glows in the dark right here. And uh, the it comes in a few different colors. The G10 on here is fabulous. The uh, blade on here reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot of the LCK. So uh, a lot of you guys know I'm a very big fan of the CRKT LCK as a, as a really good budget knife. This is the Ruger version of it. Uh, CRKT has since discontinued this version, and they have uh, come out with a new LCK, which is uh, not co-branded with Ruger. And the new one has that new assist feature that it has on it, uh, but the it comes in this uh, uh, this black blade, but it also comes in a blade that looks like this, a satin blade, and it doesn't have the reverse tanto and it's a drop point. So it reminds me a lot, and I'm actually planning on getting a uh, a couple of CRKTs uh, coming in soon, and hopefully I'll be able to do a comparison video between th those versions of the LCK and the uh, the Finch Cimarron. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, Jimmy, the let's see, I'm gonna catch up on the comments here real quick. So, Larry, Larry, have a good night if you're still there. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, uh, as far as what I have for sale, uh, I will post a video at, uh, at some point, maybe even tonight, um, if I remember. So, let's see, Neve and I's an unboxing video. Unboxing video for Mr. Amazing. I must have missed that. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a very very cool knife. Ian, thank you so much. Uh, how many lawyer jokes are there anyway? Only three. The rest are true stories. Sorry, couldn't resist. Hey, you know what? <laughs> there uh, there are plenty of lawyer jokes. There's plenty of bad lawyers out there. Let me tell you. Uh, I go up on you know people who don't extend professional courtesies. Just the simplest things. I mean. You don't have to be a jerk just because you're an attorney. I mean, come on. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, but uh, but yeah, this Finch Cimarron's a, a, a good knife. Um, if you like long and slender knives, this is a really good knife. Let me go ahead and put it up against the 940 so you guys can see that. Because the 940 has a very similar profile to the Finch Cimarron. So, yeah, the fra I've always wanted a frag shear, or at least to check one out. Uh, they, they look really cool. The, I've, I've had an F3. I've had an F95. Um, and I've had a – no, I've just had those two plus the, plus the ones I showed. Those are the shearers I've had. Hello, eggs and ham. I'm – so glad to see all the, everyone else that was on all of the other live streams. It's really cool that everyone is coming to support all the different channels. I really, uh, I think that's awesome. So uh, kudos to all of you guys. Here is new on the SHOT Show, that SHOT Show that didn't happen, uh, Mini Freak that just came out. This is the, uh, the triple row bearing. Which one has the triple row bearing? Neves, uh, it, by the way, is it Jared? Who, who's on right now? Uh, go ahead and post which one. Oh, the F95 frag. Three robe of bearings. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, so this is the SHOT Show edition of the Mini Freak. Uh, in case anyone was wondering, you know, the size on the Mini Freak. I mean, here's the Freak. Super Freak. Um, I think most people are familiar with the Freak by now and the Mini Freak. But... This is really cool. Uh, it's got the green anodized standoffs. I, I, just, I don't know why they don't do the black uh, liners and the black uh, and the black access bar when they've got. Is it Jared and Kara there or just Jared? Um, I've got the. Uh, sorry, I can't even think right now. Uh, this this access bar. By the way, it, if you guys missed the beginning of the video. Uh, I apologize if I'm a little off tonight. I am actually a little bit sick. I don't have COVID. I was negative for the test, but uh, I was caught in the Texas uh, freeze that you, we had earlier in the week, and I got sick as a result of just being so damn cold. Um, 
Oh, so great. I have both nieces. Awesome. Welcome, guys. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, it, it's just been, it's been crazy. So, um, whoa, AB, thank you. Thank you. Hope everything's going well. Glad I could catch a live stream. How, how do you do giveaways work and you should post your video for sales tonight? Uh, yeah, I will, I will do my best to post the videos for sales. So I actually don't have my kids today. My wife, my wonderful, beautiful, loving wife took the kids so that I could come here and not hopefully infect my family with whatever I have. Uh, so, you know, uh, I really appreciate her. And, you know, because I don't have my kids today, I am able to, uh, you know, spend a little bit of time doing videos, doing catch up on some videos and doing a live check, live stream. So it's great. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I have? One knife that I don't think I've shown too often on here that a lot of people haven't seen. Oh, Chris, you're also in, in, in Texas. I'm in Houston. I am also in Houston. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Houston. I am, I will even go a step further. I'm Southwest Houston. So this is, uh, this is the Hinder Emmett. So if you guys, uh, we're aware or not aware. This is the Hinder fixed blade sort of version of the uh, of the XM18 Northwest Houston. That's awesome. No restricted content about possible upcoming. What restricted content? I don't know. Uh, hello, Sue Chicken. All right, so this is the Hinder Emmet. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one down. Uh, let's see. And put up some other hinders. We're going to look at the XM18. And another XM18. Mystery box sale. The kids love those these days. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm going to put in the mystery box sale? Uh, where is that? Here. Mystery box sale. <laughs> this thing is is a trip it's like uh this is the crkt minimalist in a cleaver version uh why this knife needed to be in a cleaver version i have no idea it's so ridiculous but it's kind of fun at the same time so this is one of those knives that are just ridiculous kind of pointless but are uh but are still fun kind of like this one let's see what does it say um do you have the hinder that takes the warthog uh, scales? So all of the hinders will take the warthog scales. It depends on which warthog scales you're talking about. I had a Gen 4 with G10 warthog scales before, but the uh, the other ones, combo sale with the mini Bally. Yeah, you know, actually the mini Bally will probably be for sale. So, um, you know, just because I've got too many knives and uh, it's a little bit, uh, you, you know, it's, something's got to go. Uh, you know, I, I have to. I think I got to start a Patreon. I, I think I think Neves has got the right idea. I think I got to start a Patreon and give some people some early access to uh, to the Patreon or to the sales on Patreon. But as far as the Warthog scales go, they uh, they come out. They come out in titanium. They come out in G10. They come out a couple different uh, things, and uh, they'll come out. Most of the most of the time they've come out for the XM18 three and a half. I've seen them on the three three inch a couple of times, uh, and I don't think I've seen any on the XM24. I could be wrong though. So yeah, I, I used to have the, a Gen 4 with it, but I sold that one. I figured I needed to sell it with the Warthog scale in order to incentivize somebody to buy a Gen 4 because at the time people were all the rage about Gen 6. So you know I felt like I had to go ahead and uh, and sell that with it. Something that I will be selling probably, you know, is is this, the XM24, and this is a uh, RC Bladeworks Burlap Micarta scale. I've also got a G10 Frag scale uh, in OD Green, and then it comes with its original black G10 scale. So um, why am I selling this? Uh, not because I don't like the XM24. In fact, I probably will rebuy the XM24 at some point, but um, I, this is a uh, stonewash version. I, I tend to like the working finish or the uh, the battle black. Uh, 
so yeah, so I ended up getting this one because it was uh, it was a good deal at the time, and it came with an armorer's tool, uh, and so you know the armorer's tool was thrown in for free, so I had to buy the knife to so I could get the armorer's tool for free. All right. Um, yeah, if you come into this hobby and don't like to have fun, kick rocks. You know, there's a lot of really cool people in the. Uh, we were talking about this on Christine and Peter's uh, live stream. There's a re lot of really cool people, really good people in the knife community. Uh, we've done a lot of good things. I think um, you know a lot of different channels have done really good things for different people. It's, it's great to see. Um, now another knife that I got recently uh, that I think you can hear it is the Kershaw Lucha. Very interesting. Uh, after throwing around titanium ballys for a long time, this one actually is a little bit heavy for me. Um, it's gotten a pretty good reception from a lot of people all around, but I'm not used to throwing this around at all. I, I have a trainer that's a squid trainer, so that's aluminum. Then I've got you know an Alpha Beast and a, uh, uh, and a Benchmade 87. So this one's just a lot heavier. Uh, it's got a lot of handle bias. Um, but you know, it's, uh, it's interesting flipping my new battle black Bowie. Yeah. Battle, battle black, uh, Bowie. That's the, uh, three and a half inch, right? Yeah. That thing's awesome. They also came out with the Bowie eclipse. Speaking of eclipse, as long as we're talking about the eclipse, I don't have an eclipse but I do have a ZT0392 Wincliffe. So that's pretty cool. Now, let me go ahead and throw this out there. This is the Snex Buster, and I just picked up a little while ago the Sweet Snex Mini Buster. I may be selling this one too, the Mini Buster. We will see. Um, mainly because every time I have a choice between this one and this one, I just grab this one. Um, not because the mini buster isn't good. It's actually great. Yeah. So the Bowie on the XM, I think looks way better than the Bowie on the Eclipse, but not every blade shape looks great on, on everything. I didn't necessarily like the Tonto, the Harpoon Tontos on the Eclipse. Uh, I thought they were okay looking. Um, but, uh, uh, and so, some of the things like, some of the ones on the uh, on the XM-18, I don't necessarily like either. But the Bowie on the XM-18, I think it is, is great. Let's see. Um, For those, for those of you who joined us a little late, uh, you know, we, I don't think we got everyone what everyone was carrying today. So just to uh, bring up, again, what I was carrying today, we had the Protec Malibu and the Umnum Zone. So that is cool. Let's see. Any anyone throwing down what they're carrying? No, we must have got everyone. Slim Midi and the Shiro F95. Ooh, great combo. Great combo. I actually sold my Slim Midi uh, and my F95, but they're both great. They're both great. Uh, Zahn, yep. Fool. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I am a fool. I, I I really never should have should have sold those. Those are both great knives. I may have to buy them again at some point. Five sixty five twenty one oh one in limited edition uh red my card and mini bag lighter. Which one's the twenty one oh one? Five sixty five twenty one oh one. Um Red My Card and Mini Bag Lighter, that's the limited edition run, I think. Kershaw Blair S30V, very cool. Benchmade grip full size. Spyderco Rock Jumper, don't see too many of those. Ganzo 753. Uh, carrying a man bug. Oof. I don't know. Theron Forge Archbishop and CRKT Pilar. 
Uh, shot show mini freak. Oh, you, you got one of those too. Oh, that's the shot show mini freak. Oh, I have one. I don't even know what number it is. <laughs> Love the RJ with the rock jumper. The rock jumper is, it's like a, um, it's like a Warncliffe Delica almost, but it's like a little bit different than that. But it's basically a Warncliffe Delica. That's what the rock jumper is. Um, the Endora and the Benchmade Mediator, the SNG. Very cool. You're giving away a rock jumper? Awesome, Big Red. Um, yeah, I'm actually not sure of why, because they make a Warncliffe Delica, why they made the, the rock jumper. I think it's maybe like an Indella with the Warncliffe. I don't know. So here is a couple of Guardian Tacticals. So I've got the regular one in LMAX, and I've got the Reese Weiland Regrind with carbon fiber. These Guardian Tactical knives are really cool. Another OTF I got here, the Mon Labe Microtech Ultratech. Couple of great OTFs. Any OTF fans? Lesser Caso, more comparable to the Andela. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, more like the Andela. It just seems like it's more of the same from Spider Co., right? So I'm not saying the Rock Jumper is bad. I, it seems like a good knife, but it seems like they already had that knife, and maybe a different company should have come out with the Rock Jumper. Just me. Anyway. Uh, that I don't know about this JV. All right. You know what knife may be for sale? And I'm going to regret parting with it. I don't know. Thinking about it. The Protec Harkins, ATAC. So this is not a cheap one, but it is also one that doesn't come around very often. This is made, I think they said once every couple of years. They don't make it every year because they have to shut down their entire shop in order to make this. It takes a lot of machine time. Definitely go check. And so Monster Racing is posting below in the comments the times for Neve Knives' live streams. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Every time they, they go on live stream, they have such good chemistry on screen. They, the people there, it's good. You guys should definitely go check it out. If you, uh, I assume everyone on here is familiar with memes, but if you're not, check them out. Yeah, this is a dual action. So this is really cool because it really has a very smooth action. It doesn't really show it there, but it has, you can see that it has a very smooth action there. And then it, it has this scale here that works the dual action, which is very cool. And then now you can see spring tension here, and then you reset it. And then once it's reset, it'll go back very smooth again. So that's sort of how it works. Um, there is a, you can see it, a pin right there. That's the toggle for the, uh, for the switch right here. So it's, essentially it's a plate that toggles. The perfect auto for states with stupid uh, anti-auto laws. Yes, it kind of is because I don't think a lot of police officers would ever know this is an auto because there's really no way to know unless you really know that this button is here and it's hidden. So, you know, um, one I won't be selling, which is another auto with another hidden mechanism, is the uh, Protec Magic 2. This is one of my favorites. Love this thing. Not that I don't love this too. I do love this too, but, you know, I can't keep everything. And I just use the hell out of this one. The shape and the handle on this is so good. So if anyone ever saw my uh, my videos here uh, on the Magic 2, the blade shape on this is basically the same exact shape as on the Spidey Chef. So those of you guys who really like the Spidey Chef, and you want an auto, this is your auto. I laid this on top of a Spidey Chef. It's the same exact blade, basically. Um... Yeah, I like how you can open this manually as well. And I, I mean, I'm not doing this justice, but this is 
so smooth. It's almost like the washers are polished. It really is amazingly smooth. And you can see it just drop right there. Once I take the, um, sorry, I, I'm screwing this up on the camera, but once I take the pressure off of it with a, with a lock bar, it really just drops. So, so good. Yes, you can reverse fl uh, flick the disc if I'm not doing it on camera. Hold on. Ah, that weird angle. There we go. Yeah, you can, you can do this very easily when you're not trying to hold it under the camera. Big Red EDC also has a great fun live stream on Saturday nights as well. Uh, I have to agree. I, J JB, I, uh, I go on his, on his live streams all the time. Him and Zach, they're, they're also all very fun live streams. Everyone does a great job, I think. Um, you know, I'm, uh, Bang. That's right. Bang. Neves knives. You know, Neves is, I'm very jealous because your intro is way better than mine. I got to do something about that. Let's see. Another one that might be for sale here. The Spyderco K2. This is a discontinued knife, a monster of a knife. If anybody's wondering how big the K2 is, Here's a pair of three. Right, that thing is big. So if anyone's interested in a, in a K2, this will probably be going up as well. Yeah, this thing is massive. That's right, this has 10V. You know, everyone's going nuts for the 10V on the, uh, on the Scorpion PM2. Everyone forgets the K2 is basically... A spidey chef, a huge spidey chef with a with a uh, ten V blade, and the the action on this is so smooth. It's so smooth. So smooth. So, why do I want to sell that? Well. Mainly because every time I reach for a big spider co, it's this one. Yeah, the size on this thing is crazy. If you want to make this a, a tanto, there's a very easy way to do that. <laughs> go ahead and, you know, uh, grind off a little bit. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll have to do a collection video one time. I'm, I'm showing... I am showing a bunch of my collection on here, but yeah, there, this is not the whole collection. Um, I've got plenty of fixed blades. I've got slip joints. I've got, uh, I've got, you know, other stuff. I've got like 12 different 940s. So I'm a little bit biased when it comes to 940. Mr. G, are you guessing uh, for the giveaways already? What am I missing in the comments here? If you get attacked by a T-Rex, you have to defend yourself. Is that the K2? Pretty much. Uh, so what kind of slip joints do I collect? So I don't have a huge slip joint collection. Uh, I have a couple GECs. Uh, I guess I'll show a couple of them. I'm not going to open them up, but I've got a couple of GECs here. I've got, um, a couple of them at work. I don't have everything with me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got these two, which are potential giveaway knives. Oh, I've got this one, Real Steel Luna. So I've got a few. Yeah, the wrench shield. The wrench shield on that one is, uh, this is the oil field jack. This is probably my favorite slip joint that I own. These were nickel bolsters. And being inside of a leather slip sort of gave them this aged look. I really love it, actually. 
Hey, Jesse B. Do I have a Bullnose GC? Uh, the Black Bullnose GC? No, I don't. Uh, as far as Rough Riders, I had like 15 Rough Riders, uh, and I actually gave them all away. Uh, I, it went partially in giveaways, partially to friends. Um, because I always knew I could rebuy them. They're, they're not that expensive. Um, FW Glock guy, uh, you grew up in Houston. My parents still live in Katy. Uh, the freeze is brutal. Yeah. So I don't know if you're, maybe you're watching earlier. Uh, I was, uh, definitely caught up in the freeze as well. So I feel you. Uh, do I have a spider code domino? I do not have a spider code domino. No, the giveaway's not done monster. Uh, That J.E. made Zulu? Yeah, so uh, one of my biggest regrets for of selling knives, and I just have to sell knives sometimes to keep the channel going, but uh, Mad Hatter, by the way, Mad Hatter, you're the one that won the, uh, the West Made Wallet, so email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com to claim the prize. Uh, but that, that J.E. made Zulu uh, in Mammoth, oh man, I'm so, I'm so regretting selling that. It was, uh, it was such a good knife. All right. All right. Let's go on to the next one. I heard some people talking about, or one person commenting on some, the, the, sort of the mods that I've done to a few of the knives. So I'm going to show off, show off some of the mods. So I've got this. This one came pre-modded to me. This has a crown spine uh, and a flitanium cage, G10 backspacer. This is a, uh, Critter scales on the, or hex scales, I think they're called, on the uh, Maximum Para 3. Already emailed me. Great. Awesome. Congrats again. Uh, so I also have this Paramilitary 2. These are uh, Rips Garage Tech, sort of done in the same way, although they're flat as the uh, Fluted Millie. Let's see, what other mods do I have here? Uh, oh, the bug out. And the 940. Later, Neveses. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it. You kicked off a lot of the super chat. I really appreciate it. Have a good night. So this is... Uh, you know, some mods that I did to the, to the 940. I'm actually, I just bought a razor edge knives, uh, blade for this. So I've got a razor edge knives blade that I'm putting on this and I'm going to be ordering a pivot, uh, to match the hardware here. And then I'll, I'll have my ultimate 940 that has pretty much nothing from original except for the, uh, the internals. So, So uh, Monster Racing is talking about the Putman, Putman Micarta uh, scales that I had for my bug out. So I actually sold those. Uh, those went to one of the international folks that um, bought some of my other knives. Uh, I, I sold those, and he's going to be getting those as part of a set of a couple of other knives he, he ordered as well. So, um, you know, if, if you guys are after anything that I have, you can always feel free to email me. I can't guarantee that I'll let anything in particular go, but uh, I'm usually willing to, to talk or, you know, sometimes I'll move on. <coughs> Excuse me. The Ultimate 940 is one not made by Benchmade. Yeah, so the internals are made by Benchmade and literally everything else is made by other people. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think the last one that I'll show for right now, and, you know, and then maybe it, we'll go ahead and do a giveaway. Boonyip Dan, yes. So this is where my, my, my Carta scales are going. <laughs> Got to be quick. Uh, I didn't know he was putting in another run, but um, 
yeah, I, I, I don't know whether I'll get another one or not because I already have those bug outs. But this is the 710 Knifeworks uh, exclusive. We were talking about this on um, Peter and Christine's live stream. This is one of the best knives Benchmade's ever done. And I'm very sad it's, it's discontinued. So, uh, but it is what it is. How many knives do I own? Uh, it's probably around 100. I don't think it's 250. I think it's more like 100. But yes, I own quite a lot of knives. And uh, I got to downsize a little bit. That's why I'll be doing a sale. But this is one of the best things Benchmade's ever done. And I'm sad that they do not still make this. Definitely got to bring it back. This is M390 done in that black and blue G10 that they do. Got that little bit of a recurve. So I haven't had to sharpen this one yet, but the recurve really isn't bad. And frankly, I'm going to be doing a comparison video of these two knives, both of which have recurves, the Hinderer FireTech and the Benchmade 710 uh, Knifeworks Exclusive. Obviously, this is a little bit longer than this one, but they both sort of serve the same niche. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, time to do a giveaway. Let me see what I have to give away. All right, let's do All right, let's do one of these. All right. Real Steel Luna Real Steel Luna. This is a Lagiole, which is a very small, like almost like a pen knife. The uh, Gene Micarta, is this Gene Micarta? I think it's Gene Micarta. Um, Rough Rider Worker. Let's see, I should. Think of one more. Let's see. How about we do You know what? I think I left the other one that I wanted to do at home. I, I'm in a hotel, so this is this is sort of what I have here. Um Did I, did you win this Rough Rider? It could be. You know what? The Rough Rider is probably not available then. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, let's do this one instead. The GEC Allegheny. All right. So we've got GEC Allegheny, Lagiole. Uh, I don't know what the model is on this one in the Real Steel Luna. See, that's what happens, uh, Bunyip Dan, when you're uh, uh, when you hold on to knives too long. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and all right. I don't have anything to write with, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, uh... <laughs> yeah, just kidding, big big red. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a number. Uh, between 700 and 800. And because I already, um, uh, I don't have a pen with me. I'm going to, this is actually going to be my room number on my, uh, on my key. So it's going to be my room number. And let's see, uh, Big Red, do you want to push start? Or type in start in the chat and we'll uh, we'll go that way. Actually, I think I, I think I could do it. I think I have it. All right. I'm going to push start. 
and then we'll we'll start, and then everyone will get one guess. Um, oh, there we go. Big Red's got to start. One guess without going over. Well, we've got some. Okay. Give it a minute here. So the winner is going to get their pick of one of these, by the way, just to, just to be clear. All right, has everyone guessed? Give it another 30 seconds, maybe, maybe actually 10 seconds. Okay, go ahead and uh, put stop in. Well, I'll go ahead, go ahead and go back through this and see if anyone got it exactly. A couple of very close guesses. A couple of very close guesses. Big Red got a guess of 700, 800. I think that broke the one guess rule. Okay, I think I see who won. So the number was 720. 720. So... I think the winning number was 715, which was Gene Robinson. Let me guys know if uh, let me know if anyone sees differently. Anyone see anything higher than 715? Uh, or 720, 715. All right, Gene Robinson. Yeah, someone went one over. It was so close. There's a 721. There's a 722. All right, Gene, if you're seeing this, email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com. That's triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Uh, so, yeah, I think that that's who won. Still waiting on the choice. Gene, you there? Mr. Broken Silence can have it. Are you sure? Who's Mr. Broken Silence? Oh, I see. Gene, you're sure? Okay, Mr. Broken Silence. Got to break the silence. Let me know which one you want. Yeah, very, very nice, Gene. It's definitely cool of you. GC, you're looking for this one? All right. I think he wants the Allegheny. Very nice choice. This thing is a monster slip joint. Very cool. All right. Email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Triple dot, <coughs> excuse me, triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Coffin. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all of you being here.
Thank you. To, thank you to everyone who donated. I really appreciate it. Very, very much appreciated. It was great hanging out with a lot of you today uh, through several live streams. I don't usually get to do it, and it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Monster, if you want to hit me up on email, hit me up. I do have an Instagram. I'm going to be honest. I don't really use it. It's sort of only set up for personal. AB, thank you so much. Oh, man. AB, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vinny Mac. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you.